Well, folks, about to finish up the first month on Twitch, uh, my first month doing Twitch. So I'm going to run you through exactly how much money I make on there, where the money comes from. Some people might think it's a really low number. Some people might think it's a really high number, uh, but I'm going to show you each day I stream. I'm going to show you the overall monthly numbers. I'm going to share with you, does it make sense to stream on Twitch? Like if you're somebody that actually wants to be a creator or you are a creator out there, does it make sense? Um, and just kind of share a lot of other opinions. And if you don't know, uh, this is also an important video, I think, for a lot of Amazon shareholders because Amazon owns Twitch. And so if you're somebody that owns Amazon stock, uh, Twitch is a factor in Amazon's business. It's just a small factor, right? Amazon, their e-commerce business and the AWS business definitely runs things, but their advertising business has been growing out pretty substantially over the years. And Twitch is a, a, an important component of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just want to be fully transparent and kind of show you guys these numbers. And so everybody can judge like, you know, um, like how it all works and if you make money on there and all those sorts of things. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are curious with that being my first month on there. So appreciate everybody joining me as always thanks so much for being here thanks for being subscribed figure out throw this on the reaction channel Alrighty, so this was my first day i streamed on twitch i made uh three cents <laughs> three cents yes uh three cents uh three cents worth of ads i don't even know how i made three cents because i i don't know if i had anybody watching even my live stream that day i know i had a bunch of technical difficulties and whatnot so i don't even know how i made three cents but somehow i made three cents then Tuesday, big day, folks. I made 33 cents on that Tuesday, October 3rd. I 10X'd my revenue, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 33 cents from ads on my second stream. Um, now, mind you, uh, th those streams are like an hour and a half. So basically, we can say I was making... Um, between those two days, what was I making? A, a penny? Uh, you know, a few pennies... Uh, <laughs> A few pennies an hour for my time or so. Yeah, I might have been the lowest paid person in the world uh, for those particular two days on that front, right? Uh, then Wednesday, big day. I 15 x my revenue there. I made $5.27. So I got $4.72 worth of Prime subs, which we'll speak about that and how that works later on the video. And then also made $0.55 cents on ads on that particular day. Then on Thursday, October 5th, I made $0.99 cents on that day. Uh, $0.99 cents worth of ads were played on my Twitch channel. On Monday, October 9th, I made $5.33, $1.65 in paid subs, $2.36 in prime subs, $1.32 worth of ads on that particular day. Woo, new record, baby, new record. October 10th, Tuesday, I made $6.00. In 11 cents, four dollars and 79 cents of that came from prime subs, one dollar and 32 cents came from ads that played on that. Then Wednesday, October 11th, I made two dollars and 76 cents, not so exciting that day. One dollar 58 cents came from paid subs, one dollar and 16 cents came from ads that played on the channel on that particular day. My Thursday live stream, I believe, was a new record setter at this point in time. That was October 12th. I made $8.65, $2.38 on paid subs, $2.36 on prime subs, $3.91 worth of ads played on the channel. And then things start booming. Business starts booming from that point, okay? Uh, I guess we can say. Uh, Monday, October 16th, I make $55 on that day. $6.47 from paid subs. $18 from prime subs, $16 from ads, and then a new and then six cents from turbo, which I mean some of these things, I'm so new to Twitch guys, a lot of this stuff I don't even understand yet. So turbo, I don't know, but I made six cents from turbo. <laughs> and then I made 14 cents from or 14 dollars actually from cheering. So yeah, thank you. Whoever was cheering and, and, and you know out there, $14 I made from that. So that's a thing on, on Twitch. Then Tuesday record breaker. You know what's crazy about that $99? It reminds me because my first ever check from my real estate marketing company, the first ever business I had successful, my first ever check, guess how much it was for? $99. I made $99. I, I took a picture of it. I had my wife take a picture of me holding up the check and it was a big moment for me. Why? Why? What just happened? Like, what was that? Like, did you see the fireworks going up? Like, that, that was interesting whatever just transpired there that loom ai has going on that's pretty crazy but anyways that was actually perfect timing for me to describe the first ever successful whatever but anyways six dollars and 57 cents i made from paid subs 66 dollars i made from prime subs on that day 26 dollars from ads 
40 cents from Turbo. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was a big day. And from there, it starts getting really big. Check this out. Wednesday, October 18th. Look at this baby. $187 I made that day. $16 from paid subs. $115 from prime subs. $8.38 from gifted subs. So that's pretty cool. People can actually gift subscriptions to other people and then they don't see ads on the channel and those sorts of things. That's pretty neat. I call those people the Warren Buffetts of the chat. When I see people giving out subs, those are the Warren Buffetts, okay? I made $45 from ads on that day, $1.19 from what's called Turbo, $2.03 from cheering. Then Thursday, we took a big step back, big step back on Thursday. I don't know what happened, okay? $50 on that particular day. I mean, yeah, it was getting exciting, $187, and then back down to $50 on October 19th, $4.19 from paid subs, $16 from prime subs, $4.19 from gifted subs, uh, $25 from ads on that day, and then $0.42 cents from Turbo. Once again, maybe somebody in the comments section can explain Turbo to me if anybody is very well aware of what's going on on Twitch because I don't know what the heck Turbo Charger is, but $0.42 cents from that thing, okay? Then Monday, October 3rd, really struggling, struggling, ugling out here, okay? That was a rough day. $0.79 cents from paid subs, $4.72 from prime subs, $10 from ads and $0.42 cents from the good old Turbo on that day. I don't know what happened on that Monday, but that was rough. But we start getting back on track on Tuesday, October 24th, $75. Make $10 from paid subs, $28 from prime subs, $36 from ads on that day, $0.84 cents from the Turbo. So things get back in the right trajectory, and then they start getting them really back in the right trajectory. Wednesday, October 25th, $138 in revenue. $4.67 from paid subs, $75 from prime subs on that particular day, $58 from ads on that particular day, and $1.10 from Turbo. So I don't know what happened. Like one day everybody was cheering for me, and then I uh, seemed to not get any cheers after that. I, I noticed. I've been keeping track of this cheering one, man. Okay. Then you ready for the record breaker? The biggest day in the history of my Twitch channel so far. You ready for that number, folks? What do you think it's going to be? You think it's going to be like... Something crazy? What are you thinking? Okay, here's the number, and this is the number. Thursday, October 26th is the biggest day in the Twitch channel's history so far. $241 I made that particular day. $7.54 from paid subs, $78 from prime subs, $14 from gifted subs. That's, I think, a record breaker. Warren Buffett was in the chat, I think, that day. This is a crazy big number on that particular day. And Twitch does show a lot of ads, which is why you want to be subscribed. $139 from ads on that particular day, okay? $2.12 from Turbo. So, wow, quite a day there. Now, let me show you the overall um, numbers on how much I've made so far this month. My estimate for, you know, basically it's only like, you know, 48 hours left in this month. So, let me show you my estimate of what I'm going to make this month in total. And then let me share with you what I believe I'm going to make in November from Twitch, okay? Okay. So here's the numbers. So far, officially, I've made $962 from Twitch, uh, but keep in mind there's about 48 hours or so left in the month. And so I should finish out of somewhere between $1,100 and $1,200 in revenue. Now, that is before my contract. And I can't disclose it, these specific numbers in the contract on what they're paying me on top of this because that's all lawyer stuff and that's like, you know, can't do that, okay? Uh, they, they would, uh, you know, that could be problems. That's all I'll say about that. So... Basically, $1,100, $1,200 plus my contract on top of that. So, pretty decent. I think probably next month I'll probably make, um, I would say, between $2,000 and maybe $3,000 um, before the contract uh, you know, situation there. So, that, that would probably be my guesstimate for the month of November there. Now, you know, is it, is it worth it financially? Here's kind of what we're looking at, right? So on this YouTube channel, my reaction channel, which this is a much, uh, this channel gets a lot less views, obviously, than my main channel, for instance, uh, probably make about $6,000 from ads that are shown just on this channel this month. So, and I put in probably the same amount of time, if not less time, actually, to this channel than I would something like Twitch, for instance, right? So overall, if it wasn't for the contract portion of like the additional money I get paid on top of what I make from the other stuff, it honestly wouldn't be that super 
financially intelligent for me to be doing that. Since I have the contract on top, I, it makes it can make financial sense. But if it wasn't for that, it probably wouldn't make financial sense, just to be honest, considering how much time I put into that versus what I could get out in return versus like if I just put out additional YouTube videos or something like that, right? Now, some other things to kind of keep in mind here, right? So for this to be sustainable, for like, you know, my contract ends, uh, you know, come basically January 1st with them. And we'll see if we do another contract or something like that. But that's when this contract ends. So to be, for Twitch to be sustainable for me where it's like, okay, this makes financial sense to keep on doing this. I would need either one of two scenarios to happen. One is I'd have to do another contract with Twitch for like, let's say 2024, um, something like that. Or I would have to get a ton more subscribers, right? And something's got to give there. It's either got to be one of those two situations. I got to get a ton more subscribers or I got to do another contract with Twitch. Otherwise, it's just not a, a, you know, considering where my time can be placed, it wouldn't just be, it wouldn't be a financially smart decision. Let's just put it like that, right? Now, the good news in, in regards to the, the channel is, especially because I age up, I have a lot of, you know, most of my followers are 25 to 45 years old. I also have a lot of people that follow me in their 50s, 60s. I have some younger folks that follow me as well, right? But a lot of people that follow me have Amazon Prime. And so the good news for me specifically, since so many people watch me that have Amazon Prime, they get to subscribe to my channel for free using Amazon Prime and then they see no ads on my channel, right? And then I get like basically like $2.50 roughly um, from each person that, that subscribes using Amazon Prime. So that's a pretty good thing and I can see that building out over time and uh, a lot of people, you know, basically being subscribed using Amazon Prime where it's not even really like necessarily money coming out of their pocket. It's just, it makes financial sense. Like you watch my stream for an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, whatever. Like last thing you want is a ton of Twitch ads shown at you all the time. And if you got Amazon Prime, boom, you get your free subscription, obviously to my um, Twitch channel and you see no ads. So I can see that building out over time. Now, the other thing I like about it, to be honest, is... I'm, you know, obviously very successful on YouTube, but I haven't really built on social media really out of YouTube for the most part. I have a pretty good Instagram following, but I haven't built that strong off of YouTube. And the thing I do worry about YouTube is I do worry a little bit that YouTube could force people like myself off of YouTube over time, right? YouTube is pushing shorts heavy. YouTube just disclosed this past week, YouTube shorts are now averaging 70 billion daily views. 70 billion daily views and they're pushing shorts heavy every time i see i swear like every month i use youtube it seems like youtube's pushing shorts more and more at me and i don't even watch very many youtube shorts compared to long form content and even if with that it seems like youtube wants to push shorts push shorts because they feel the competition from tiktok they feel the competition from instagram reels and it seems like they just try to keep competing there and i don't make that type of content like that's not me right like my videos, 37 minutes, 27 minutes, 31 minutes, 41 minutes, 29 minutes, 30 minutes. I make longer, more in-depth content. It's stock market related content. Like, you know, there's a lot of stuff to cover. It's very complex situations and um, they're more time consuming videos. And so it's the uh, same thing by the reaction channel here. Most of my reaction videos are between 20 minutes and it can be 30 minutes plus on this channel. That's the type of content I make. And so I almost feel like a little bit of a dinosaur in, in, a, in a sense in regards to YouTube, where YouTube seems like it's going to this place of shorts, pushing, pushing, pushing that. And then here I am, uh, somebody that makes long form content, covers complex issues, complex subjects that you're not going to, you're not going to explain that in 30 to 60 seconds. That's just not happening. You know, that's good. And you're not going to explain these sorts of situations, right? So I kind of feel like, Twitch at least is giving me a little bit of an outlet to build something off of YouTube in case YouTube just keeps going the shorts route over the next year or two. And then people like myself that are make long form content just slowly get pushed out and pushed out and pushed out, which is a potential, right? No, the other thing I'll say is I'm having a lot of fun on Twitch, truly having a lot of fun. Yeah, the, the, the financials aren't necessarily there, right? Uh, but it's a lot of damn fun. I really enjoy that. I enjoy that that live streaming aspect, like chatting with the, the chat. Um, that's always going crazy and just like, you know, covering all these situations as they develop in real time. It's a lot of fun. I've been on YouTube since 2016. So I've been making prepped videos where then I record and I talk about the subjects since 2016. And I made, I don't know, probably thousands of videos now at this point in time, right? And I still enjoy it, but 
it might not be as fun as it once was, right? Versus something new like a Twitch, it's a lot of fun. Now, you know, in seven years from now, if I'm still doing Twitch, I don't know if it'll be as fun then, right? But for right now, it's kind of got that new allure of like, oh, this is fun. Like, this is really enjoyable. And people have been really enjoying it. So, because it's something different than Twitch has ever had. No one, Twitch has never had somebody like myself, you know, covering stocks, covering the markets on that platform before. That's not like a thing. Like, you know, I did my research before I got on the platform. I couldn't find anybody that was even successful. There were some people that try to do some stuff, uh, either in stocks or crypto or things like that. But there was nobody really successful. So it kind of reminds me of YouTube prior to me joining where it was like no one, that's not like a thing. Like there's no such thing as somebody successful there that's making money in those sorts of things, right? And, you know, like this week, for instance, right? This week, I'm going to be covering AMD's earnings as those come out after the bell. PayPal's earnings, like that live stream is going to be crazy. The PayPal live stream on Wednesday is going to be freaking out of control. It's going to be a record breaker by far. By far, that's going to be a record breaker. That's going to be nuts. Uh, Elf on a Shelf will be reporting after the bell that day. Airbnb, Etsy, that's going to be a crazy live stream. I'll be reporting Apple, the biggest market cap out there. That will be an intense live stream as well because we'll cover Palantir and Shopify and all that going on on Thursday live stream. And so it's just fun knowing that like I'm going to be able to react to these in real time and give my opinions and perspectives on, you know, exa- everything that's going on there and listen to conference calls live on there. It's a lot of fun. I got to say it's it's really an enjoyable enjoyable experience for me. And uh, also like when the stock market's crazy, right? Like like there's been many times in the past where I'm like, "Oh, the market's going down huge and I would love to cover it right at that moment." But instead, I don't, and so then I end up prepping a video, but then it's like 2, 3, 4 hours later it comes out. And that's cool and that's fine, but it is it is fun to like cover market drama when it's like going on, like it just happened. Like, oh my gosh, did you see those numbers that just came out? Oh my gosh, did you see this report that just came out? Whatever. Um, so I'll, I'll say that. It's definitely enjoyable. No, I know there's probably a lot of YouTube creators that are watching this, maybe smaller creators, bigger creators, um, folks that are genuinely curious about the numbers. And I've definitely heard from a lot of people. I mean, the amount of YouTube creators that have reached out over this past few weeks wondering, you know, how things are going, what the numbers are like. It's It's been a lot. Like, I feel like almost everybody's reached out and wanted to get more details and more into the nitty gritty of like how much I'm making and all this stuff. And, um, you know, for those people, is it worth it to go on Twitch? I would say probably commit to it for a month and try it out. But you got to commit to it for a month, try it out, promote it on your other socials and see how you like it, see how your audience likes it. And then if you like it, keep doing it past that. Now, also, a lot of people ask me, should I try to negotiate with Twitch and get a custom contract? If you're a huge name and you're watching this, you probably can. Now, aside of that, likely no. Um, Twitch reached out to me to work out the deal, right? And it's because of all the success I've had on YouTube over time, right? I have four silver play buttons hanging up in my house. So if you don't have four silver play buttons hanging up at your house, like it might, it might be a little more difficult. So I was in full position of power in the situation, right? Um, so what I would suggest, like for smaller creators that are thinking about commit to it, try it for a month, promote it, see how you like it. If you like it, keep doing it past that. If you don't like it, get off the platform. But I can tell you there's definitely there's definitely a lot of people that would love to watch stock market-related content on that platform that just haven't been able to. Yeah, right? And so, um, you know, and the final thing I just want to say in regards to this is thank you, everybody that's supporting over there on Twitch. I appreciate y'all. Um, you know, I, although it doesn't make the most money, and that's fine, I appreciate every single person that, that either subscribes over there or just watches the videos and enjoys it. Um, I want to thank you guys all so much because, you know, it just, it, it makes it a lot more fun to have people watch it and, and go over all that stuff. And I hope those live streams are really valuable to you guys. And I hope you can always learn stuff and get more intel on what's going on in the market and all that sort of stuff uh, by watching those. So, um, yeah, and if you haven't joined me over there and you're interested, then check out the pinned comment down there and uh, you can follow me for free. You, you don't have to pay money, uh, but if you do want to subscribe, you can subscribe and then Twitch won't show you any ads. And like I said, if you got Amazon Prime, it's literally free to subscribe to my channel. And then you, uh, you know, it shows you no ads and whatnot. So anyways, guys, appreciate you. Much love as always. Just want to be transparent and show you guys the numbers and kind of what's going on there for people that are curious. So anyways, much love, folks, and uh, peace.